A Portage Park Street in need of repair is getting attention, a long overdue resurfacing. But it comes just months after expensive speed bumps were put in. Now taxpayers will be on the hook for replacing the torn up speed bumps once the new surface is completed. It has some residents asking why the first speed bumps didn't come after the road was resurfaced. Our CBS 2's Charlie Dumar finds out why it happened in this original report. The smooth sound of a flat road in progress. The 3400 block of West Bernice in Portage Park. It's been a long time that it's been bad. Getting a much needed facelift. And the speed humps were fine, totally fine. In May, two new speed bumps were put in to slow speeding cars, making the neighborhood a little safer, costing a total of six grand, according to Alderman Nicholas Pizzato. Now, great, they're resurfacing the street and they have to take the speed humps out already. But today, just months later, those pricey bumps bulldozed. Now, that's wasted money. Portage Park resident Jeff Hellyer says that's not all. Once the street is resurfaced, those speed bumps will return. It's a waste of 6,000 originally, and apparently another 6,000 is going to have to be spent to replace them. The alderman says this year he requested for both the street to get resurfaced and for new speed bumps, but the order in which they arrived wasn't quite right. Why not have resurfaced the street and then put in the speed humps all at once? If there was more money that could be <laughs> used more wisely, then possibly everybody would simply be happier and things would run more efficiently. Now, the alderman tells me that streets with speed bumps do on occasion get resurfaced, but typically it happens years after they're first installed. In this case, in Portage Park, the alderman says there was simply a breakdown in the line of communication. Rob, Erica, obviously residents in Portage Park happy about the resurfacing, but not happy with this additional price tag that comes along with it. So has this breakdown in communication actually happened before? I am told that it has happened on several occasions throughout the city, yeah. Okay, Charlie, thank you. Yeah.